Hello everybody, Patrick Glenn Nichols, Muscle Car Barn Finds, and I'm out here coming to you from a small little town called Green Bottom, West Virginia. And I really have a treat for you today uh, inside of this building. So I will wait till we get in there to show you what it is, but it's really an earth moving discovery that's just surfaced here in the last few days. I come up here as quickly as I could to document this car and assist uh, a friend of mine in the purchase of this car. Um, this car will not be for sale but it has been sold into a new owner. It was a one owner car and we will go from here. This is the building that it's set in since about 1988, the last time it was legal for the street. This is a rare, very rare car. Um, as about as rare as anything I've ever found. I mean, a lot of people remember the Yenko sold Nova and Z16 Chevelle, LS6 Chevelle, Hugger Orange Chevelles, low mileage LS6 Chevelle, low mileage L78, L89, 69 Chevelle. But this one is another real, real treat. It's been in here locked away in this building, which you would never know since 88. And there you go, 1969 Central Office production order in tuxedo black, lower and upper. This is not the Yenko version. This is the 9566 version, which would be the central office production order code number AA with the manual transmission. About 323 is the number that is widely accepted of these cars were assembled in 1969 in the Chevelle. About half of those or less VIN numbers and identification and any information is known today. So about half, a, a, a hundred or more of the VIN numbers of these cars are just totally unknown. And this car is one of those cars. This car is totally unknown to this day. It's black lower, black upper. We'll do the best I can in this building. It will be moved soon. And I may go back into a better video but I have checked the stamping on the MQ coated L72 427, and it is inside the engine bay of this car. It is present with the Baltimore stamp. Most of you or Chevelle enthusiasts understand that almost all 1969 central office production orders went through the Baltimore, Maryland assembly plant, and that's where this car was assembled as well, the fourth week of June. This has a June the 3rd MQ L72-427. So we will go around the car. As you can see, they did come with 14 by seven Super Sport wheels and the Super Sport hood. But the rest of the car is plain Jane. This is a bench seat four speed car. Now, and you can see the bow tie in the grill. Of course, it did not have Super Sport trim. That's why they are called Central Office Production Order. They were base cars, but they did have the Super Sport wheels. And I'll try to get over in front of the car to show you the best that I can in the current location. Like I've said many times before, I like to bring to you these cars and they're as found in their resting spots. In my opinion, there is nothing more exciting or more interesting than a rare high performance muscle car in its long time resting spot. It's been, this car has been here again since 1988. And we will lift the hood now and address some features on a 69 Chevelle Copo. You can definitely see it is covered in lots of neglect and dust in this building, but it's in really nice shape. A lot better than a field or outside of somebody's house in their backyard. So this car is really solid. First thing I'd like for you to, to recognize, you notice the no decals on the air cleaner that is correct on a L72-427 Chevelle. 
car does still retain the 837 alternator. The correct Holly carburetor is still here. The master cylinder has been changed. We have the original radiator with the tag on the radiator, as you can see right there. And it is dated D, which would be correct. We, I removed the driver's side valve cover. It does still retain the 840, the last casting of the casting number of the cylinder head. 840 cylinder heads dated May the 6th, which definitely coincides with this car. Fourth week of June. 772 fan is still intact with the 824 BV and the 291 lower pulley. And I do believe if we can focus, we have a D of 69 fan. Definitely correct. Alternator bracket is correct. And you can see the small pollution equipment has been removed. This car did not come with power steering. I think this will be pretty much what you would consider a base central office production. It has bench seat, four speed, very few options on this car. And I do, I try to bring you the best I can in the location that it is in. And of course, a lot more digging and authenticating goes on when the camera is shut off. A lot of times I can lay under cars and show you stamps and codes. That wouldn't be possible today because there is nothing here that will jack the car up. And I was made aware of this car just hours before I got here. It was for sale, but it is no longer for sale. An individual has made a purchase. Another interesting feature on these 69 Copos is that they did have Malibu interior and you can see that is correct. No exception here. The four speed, and we have Malibu in the steering wheel. It's my understanding that on a Copo, you could have the Chevrolet bow tie, and some even had the S's. But majority would have the Malibu. The Muncie shifter is still intact. And please forgive me, it's very dark in here. The lighting is bad, but I'm doing the best that I can to bring this car to you with my true to form as found ride along theme. The lighting's not always the best. We got floor mats. The original carpet is still here and the interior really is just really impressive. I think the car has showing just a little over 30,000 miles, I believe. Let's see if we can focus on that. I think that's 38,547. No U14 gauges. Like I said, this car has very little options, if any. It's just an AM push button radio. And you can see no vents in the dash. Malibu. Really cool. This definitely is checking out to be one of the super awesome central office production order cars. Totally unknown. I mean, they're great finds and I have found some rare cars and documented some rare cars, but this ranks up there. Very, very few of these cars are around today and to find a numbers matching central office production order 69 Chevelle when approximately only 323 
or ever assembled is simply unbelievable. Give you one more view of the engine bay of this beautiful car. Again, made at the Baltimore, Maryland plant. And we'll review the cow tag real quick. Which it doesn't tell you much, but it tells you the build date. No one three six three seven sixty nine. And we have Baltimore. And one more time, the the number after Baltimore, if we can focus, I believe that's two five five three four seven. That is not the body number. That's a data processing number. The true body number would be on the body broadcast copy. And then we got 755 for black bench seat interior, and then 10 for tuxedo black lower and 10 for a tuxedo black upper. And then 06D for the fourth week of June. And then most of the rest of these figures are data processing figures and copo figures that can be deciphered and compared to some of the other known copos. Just a really, really neat car. Again, only 323 were ever known to exist. And how many were in tuxedo black? That is truly unknown, but that seems to be one of the rarest colors, the tuxedo black. And I will try my best to give you a little bit of a focus on this engine stamp, if I can. Steady with the camera, and I doubt I can because of the alternator bracket. But I can assure you that says T0603MQ. No mistaking it. And it looks dead on. Matches up, roach marks are there, no indication of any decking or alteration. I believe the carb is dated first week of January of 69, if we can focus on that. Be right there, if you can focus on that. Really neat. Again, I would do a documentation and coverage of the transmission and the rear axle if I could get under there. That will have to take place when the camera is shut off. Another neat feature, which we've been over before, if you notice, these will be YA coated wheels, but check out the original lug nuts. Still remain on the car. Really nice car. Very, very little rust in the car. This is definitely a treasure find. Again, like I said, I found some rare cars before. The Yanko sold Nova L78 was Bought and sold with the other batch cars, super rare, rally green, Z16 Chevelle, low mileage LS6, Hugger Orange LS6, L78, L89, 69, and now we can add a central office production order, tuxedo black, numbers matching, 69 Chevelle. Stay tuned, there will be more coming from this car. In the near future, it will be going to a new home and I will possibly make another trip to do even another walk around video of this super rare 69 Chevelle, the pinnacle of the 69 Chevelle. I love the SS396 L78 L89 personally, right up there with this car, but this is definitely the rarest and the biggest cubic inch ever put in a 1969 Chevelle. 
I'm Patrick Glenn Nichols, Muscle Car Barn Finds. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you need assistance authenticating your 1970 Chevelle, you can reach out to me at pnichols26 at Yahoo or Patrick Glenn Nichols Muscle Car Barn Finds on Facebook and YouTube. I really appreciate you watching my videos. This car is definitely one of the best that I've ever found. Thanks a lot. More videos on the way.